Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. I'd like to share with you the big idea. The big idea is that education should be free, and for a long time uh, that was not possible, but now it certainly is, and I would like to share with you some ways of doing that. Processing language in many, its many forms can provide a lot of the cross-platform needs of a education-hungry world. Um, a lot of processing actually could be written online. That's a pretty important part. Not only is it written online, it can be shared and uh, modified online in a dynamic IDE, um, integrated development environment. Fancy way of saying a text editor. So, um, coding for teachers, let's say it's open source coding for teachers, because that's what it is. It's open source. Open processing is built on the Creative Commons platform, Creative Commons IDEA, and it's probably the best place to begin tackling the education problems. Um, education is in desperate need of free platforms. The, as a former teacher, I can tell you uh, that there are lots of companies out there selling very bad software to very uneducated school systems who are then passing it on to even poorly trained, even more poorly trained teachers. So let's make it every, let's make it easy for everyone to teach. Um, Khan Academy is one of those great examples of uh, an individual who's decided that education should be free. I think I agree with Mr. Salman Khan. It should be free and we can do something about it by creating our own videos and our own educational applications because ultimately our found our well-being is based on economics and education is an economic issue yes you can wrap it in a as a social issue all you want but when it comes down to it better education better the economy so let's get to work i have installed the uh, processing language and I'm going to let's give a quick demonstration of this. Um, this is a dual window application. It's free, it's open source, and it's going to give us two windows uh, with sliders and buttons, etc. Not very exciting, I know. You're thinking, so what? Well, Andreas Schlegel has made uh, creation of buttons in processing much easier. Um, and buttons, 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 who's got the buttons? Well, Mr. Schlegel has them. We're going to open up another example of his, and we go to libraries, which I've already installed, control P5, examples, and the next one we're going to go to is bang. So let's go ahead and open that up and see what it does. The value of open source is that you can read the code, you can modify the code, and further, um, with processing, you can share the code on sites like Open Processing. Uh, you can see I've already uploaded one of them here. Uh, if I move this around, you can see that it's a slider. You might say, so what? But if you're a physics guy, or a physics person, or an electronics person, or a light person, you're going to say waves. Ah, yes, wavelengths. Very important to understand, to know. and Open Processing has this and thousands of other examples of code. So let's see if our code is going to load. Mm, nope. So let's try it again. Open Libraries. Oh, that's right. I have to go into the library. To go, no, I had to go into the examples. Go into the examples. There it is. I have to physically click it. Sorry. My bad. I did the same thing last time, too. So here it is. Now it loads. Don't have any idea what it's going to do. So I control R5 to run. See the little yellow light is going on. And let's see what happens. Okay. So we have a user interface here. And you can see down here that these are essentially toggles of some kind. Changes the color. All right, so yes, this is a uh, change the background. So I can change the background based on these buttons. And so we have buttons and buttons and buttons. Very useful. Processing does not come with any buttons. It comes with lots of pretty ways to make colorful images, but no buttons. So Andrea Schlegel is a much needed breath of useful air in the processing language, and it's open source. 
So uh, what do we do with this? You're probably wondering. Well, let me show you how you can modify it. And so I'm going to change this right here. Not very significant. I'm just going to change it, change my background. Right, so I'm going to rename this. I'm going to put it into my control 5 bang with mods. And I click save. And there it goes. Print line. Okay, so these are all the print lines that we saw down below. All right, let's uh, go ahead and run that in a moment. Hopefully, yep, the yellow light has gone on, and now it's started. There, I've just modified the code. Now, uh, in order to share these significant changes, I'm going to upload them. So I click Export. I'm going to share these changes with the world because, f surprisingly, very few people use the Control P5 libraries. So uh, I'd like to help change that a little bit because the Control P5 libraries are very useful, especially for education. So I'm going to right click on my applet here, I'm going to compress it to a zip, give it a second, and there it is, go ahead and create, and now I'm going to upload that directly to, um, I'm going to directly upload it to Open Processing. So I click on Open Processing, I've already logged, I'm already logged in. And I'll just give you a demonstration of how easy it is to uh, upload new applications to processing. So let's upload from processing it right there. And I'll call this the control P5 bang examples. Copy that, paste. I'll just leave those. Now I'm going to choose my file and sketch examples. No user, yes. And I find what I'm looking for is my sketchbook right there at the top, of course. Control B, P5 bang with mods. Double click on that. Right, click open. There we go. Now I'm going to upload the applet. Click open. In a moment it's going to start. Click upload. And it's all green. Super green. And in a moment I should get my five buttons with my very simple modifications. Right there. Change my background. Click And it should work. There, it does work. Okay, so everything works fine. Now I've just uh, created some code. I've taken existing code, open source code, modified it. Now I'm going to share it with the world so that other people can make it better. That is the whole point of processing for education. That's the whole point of open source education. And it is what we should be working towards. Thank you for your time and happy computing.